Welcome everybody to the 2020 team free for all tournament. Uh, I'm your host Samurai Revolution and I'm extremely excited to bring this to you guys. So we'll have four group games going into one finals match. The team that wins each of the group games will head to the finals where we'll have a four team final. Uh, just like the group games here, we have four teams in each group game. Uh, just me today, going to be casting this one. I'll make sure we get some uh, co-commentators for some of the future matches. Uh, but just really excited to bring this to you guys, and this is something I've been wanting to do for a long time. I love the free-for-all format uh, for the tournaments. Uh, it's one of my favorite things to uh, do and uh, just you know to put on for you guys. And the free-for-all especially just makes it different and exciting, and you never really know what's going to happen. Um, and I just think it's a ton of fun. You guys know how much I love free-for-all. Uh, and so now we're upgrading a little bit into a team tourney, which I don't know. I don't know what that's going to look like. I don't know how it's going to look in terms of gameplay and stuff, but I'm very optimistic. Uh, this is something that I've been wanting to do for a really long time, like I've been saying, and uh, I'm just excited. So I hope you guys are excited as well to jump into this team match, um, 2v2v2v2 on ESOC Arizona. And so... Um, ESOC patch makes this possible, which is fantastic. I really hope that it carries over to the definitive edition. Um, but yeah, it, we're, so this is going to be on ESOC maps and the patch as well. So we got some uh, really good action here. France is allowed in this tournament. I don't know if we have France in this one. Let's just jump in and see what Civs we got here. Let's jump in the top left corner uh, with, let's see here, we got Pink here. And this is the team Lazy Longbows. And so it looks like they're doing Dutch and China pairing up together here on the north, what is that, northwestern corner of the map. Um, and so let's kind of look into this. Let's see the deck here from China. We got a lot of stuff to look into today. A lot of decks. I won't try to take too long. Uh, but Northern Refugees first. Uh, and then a lot of age three cards in here. We have some meteor hammers, a lot of unit shipments actually. So maybe going in for a stronger uh, age three attack, maybe an age four attack. Has an infinite rat and shields and infinite two flying crow cards in there, and then some just really solid Chinese cards as overall. We got Mongolian surge, um, standard army hit points, repelling volley, like all these good ones here. Um, Manchu combat, uh, all that good stuff. Of course, old Han reforms need to be in there. Uh, so we'll see what happens with that. Let's see what his opponent has, or his, excuse me, his ally here. Um, in purple here. King Danny has paired up. Let's see what his deck is. So all the bank stuff is cords. He's got the infinite uh, native card in there as well. Uh, the mortar card here with Dutch. Uh, so we got all action damage team increase. That could be awesome for the hand mortars. Would love to see that. I'm really excited to see some team cards put in here. Uh, but other than that, pretty pretty good upgrades all around. There's a lot of upgrade cards and got a few resource crates. Uh, so I love the color combination here. Pink and purple is just looking good. Uh, we'll have to see how they do. All right, China's grabbing a trade post here. And as you can see, there's a lot of trade posts in the center of the map um, around this like plateau area here. So circular map uh really i think i really like this map i think this is a great choice for this kind of tournament um with how it's laid out and everything got some coin mines around it some good wood areas um, but not too much it's a little scarce which i like because it you know makes it open up a little more um, but there are a lot of resources especially on such a large spawn um, let's move eastwards and check in here i believe these guys are from let's see here let's start up in here with blue uh, their team name is called Fire Mountain. And we have the ports and the Chinese. So let's check out Blue's deck here. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. <laughs> so Blue, uh, you're just, you're just going to be called Blue today. Um, but I like Fire Mountain. That's a pretty sweet team name. Uh, also Northern Refugees sent in here too. A little bit of a different approach here. So we have more uh, we have land reforms, the uh, Confucian's gift card here. Uh resource well, I guess not resource train time but resource res, research excuse me research points um, goes down significantly basically instant research um, great migration is a really great card there I love that one gives you the goat and all the villagers uh, but more of a late game approach so maybe a little different from the other China player 
on the Lazy Longbows team. Um, but let's check up here with his teammate. And he has... Which one? Red here. Right there. Um, and he has ports. So let's check out ports deck here. Um, has some Minutemen in there. So you gotta have that Minutemen card in, right? With ports, gotta have all those Minutemen. Hopefully, maybe we can see a huge Minutemen spawn. Um, Infinite uh, Barberry Corsair card there. I have not seen that actually in a deck ever. <laughs> so that's great. Maybe it's played often, but uh, not anything that I've seen. And, you know, some just overall solid H3 cards. Um, so it looks like there's kind of a combination of just some gradual increase in play in terms of, you know, making sure H3, you know, everyone's well established here. And then maybe one teammate has more of a late game deck. Um, so let's move south here to Frozen by Chosen. Uh, let's jump in the cheesemonger right here, green. And let's see what he's got in store for Russia here. Ooh, we have medicine, which is absolutely delicious paired with the Russian bonus of 270 costing villagers. Um, he also has a mortar card in there. So unicorn mortars reduces coin cost and train points and increases damage. So pretty solid card there um, in this one. Yes, Sevastopol. Uh, is put in here. I don't know if I pronounced that right at all, but I love this card. You get, as you can see there, the blockhouse build point decrease and it includes fort, town center, and walls. So the defense is going to be going up here and it's already going up. Green is already spamming out the walls. Maybe that car, the car has not been spent in, sent in yet, but I, I'm assuming it will be at some point. Um, so that is delicious. That is very good. Um, any other good stuff there? Train times, of course and factories and all that good stuff so no unit shipments just all really eco cards and stuff there and then his teammate here chosen by jesus and teal is also with a very late game focused deck he has estates in there very excited to see that card played um, he also has some livestock action in here too look at all this stuff so this is why i love these kind of formats is because you get so many different play styles just unique new things so what I'm all about here. So I'm really excited to see. Look at all these upgrade cards for Musketeer and Hazar. Oh, everything in there. He does not have the church card in there. But, uh, you know, I don't even know if you need it at that point. He's got everything else. So very excited to see that and uh, what his team has to do here. And so last team, the Strategy Demons. And we're going to jump in here with Yellow. Um, and let's see what he's got in store for us today. He's got the Nootka allies. A lot of the uh, infinite ally or uh, native cards in age four. I like to see that. It's really exciting. Serve off of forums, of course. 19 streetlets in there. Um, Ransack, one of my favorite cards. Increases infantry siege by 50%. Is just fantastic. I love that card a lot. Uh, maybe we'll see it paired up with serve off reforms play. Those musketeers can take stuff down pretty quick. If that's the case, Reformist Czar is in there as well. And a lot of fort action. We have just two forts, but he does have the one where he can rebuild it. He doesn't have the H3 fort. Went for a lot of upgrades instead. So really excited to see what he's got. And last one here, um, Skriller, otherwise known as Jass. And he's playing Spain. So Spain combined here with Russia. I like this. Um, Unction, of course, needs to be in here. Uh, and so there are there are some changes with the uh, ESOC patch. Um, it, this one obviously sends in a missionary too, as you can see there. So there are some slight changes. I'm not 100% accustomed to them all. So we'll kind of see those as they uh, show up. But um, Spanish Gold is an R1 too. It's a little different. So this is normally an age 4 card. Uh, that had to do with galleons, I believe. Um, but now you get a coin crate with every shipment. So he's sending in right now. Soon he has, he has, as he hits H3, so now he's going to get a, a gold crate, 400 gold crate with every one of these shipments. Um, just mix up spam a little bit, give him a little more flavor. Uh, and so that are those are strategy demons. And it looks like everyone's just having a grand time going at it right now. Walls are all the way up here. Um, we have some raiding going on from Orange here, so not messing around at all. Walls are trying to go up, but raids are happening. I love it. Um, so I'm going to take a drink of water because I just spoke for 10 minutes straight as fast as possible, basically. Oh my goodness. I'm so, I hope you guys are excited here. 
Because I have no, I have absolutely no idea who's won this. I have no idea what's going to happen. I have no idea how long this game is going to take. Uh, actually, I have a, I have a small idea. I asked briefly, but you know, there have been there have been times where like, how long is this game? Like an hour, and it's an a two and a half hour match. So you never know. Um, so pink with the two tray post grab, teal and orange have one apiece here. Looks like very very early. Orange is just going straight at uh, green and teal here with some cavalry. Trying to throw him off, possibly. Um, he's training more goons, and the raids are going in early. Now, how, how effective the rush is going to be in this is going to be really interesting. You know, because right now his teammate is probably uh, massing some streetlets, maybe going for the uh, serve off reforms card switch there. And Brit's going in for the boom, too. So he's really got to figure out what he's going to do here, combining all this stuff. Um, and the walls are just about up. So walls are going to get up. This is all that's in here. Two Falks are coming in as well. So a lot of action over there. Let's check up north here. The bank boom is fully underway. Uh, from the Dutch up north, well, we got a little bit of lag there. And um, let's switch over to him here. I need pink. Actually, no, sorry, not pink. Purple and then pink. Uh, he looks like he's going age four pretty fast. So fast industrial maybe. Va I feel like fast industrial is going to be pretty solid in this kind of format. So much going on. Um, on the other side here, walls are trying to be put up on, on both sides from blue. And kind of boxed in here. So looks like uh, Frozen by Chosen, this team here, is under immense pressure from both sides immediately. Which I think it's because of the two, they try to get too many walls. I think these walls are too much. Like it's an exact quarter of the map and it's pretty far out. Maybe they went a little bit back further, a little more conservative they would have been okay. But the huge wall grab could be a little costly here. Like this is the kind of walls I would expect. I think this is about right. But man, these walls are way out there. And here come the Dragoon slash Cannon and Cavalry Army. Spanish life. Tons of streetlets getting massed there. More walls are trying to go up, but it's not going to happen, man. What is going to go on here? Are these guys going to get hit that early? Man, just under intense pressure early. It's going to be intense. It's going to be nuts. So here he comes. Dragoons paired with some cannon. Russia trying to train musketeers. It is not looking good. It is not looking good. He he should he needs to get defense up or something. I don't know. But it's not looking good at all. Units are going inside. Cannons are sieging. Trying to get the stable luck back there. And this is just orange. Just orange is gonna single-handedly do this, it looks like. Uh, let's see what Teal's got going on here. Nothing yet at the moment. Did grab a trade post. Green has some idle villagers there. And it looks like this this front over here is quiet. So everything is going down right here. Whatever's going to happen. Let's see what Green's got in queue. Nothing yet. One mission is just chilling out over there. And villas are getting hit here. So this is not looking good for Green at all. He's trying to train. What's he going to train, dude? And some, like, cab archers or something. It's not looking good. Intense early pressure here. And we have natives coming up out north here from red. I like it. Got a lot of... There are Navajo on this map. I believe all of them are Navajo. Oh, no, we have Navajo and Apache posts. He does have the Apache back here. He could get a nasty Apache spawn. The TC is going down. We are 13 minutes into the game, and the town center is going down. Villagers are on the run. What is his Brit teammate going to do for him here? These villagers have not been gathering, which I hate. I hate when you click right next to it or something, and then they just don't go into it. The walls are trying to go up here. And it looks like they're going to go up, but the, the cannon are coming through already. So he has two more reinforcing cannon. And the outpost, or the blockhouse is down. We do have some cavalry on the way. Wow. 
I guess this is the uh, this is the issue if you have a, a deck with no units is this is what you are opening yourself up to. Uh, more walls are coming up, but this huge army it needs to get figured out. Always trying to go behind here with Cav, possibly. Goons are here. Two Oprinchniks going in, and it's not going to be enough. The efforts are there. The desperate. The desperateness is up too. All right, he's trying to build town center just a little bit north already. Dude, this is this is where the unit shipments are just. Oh man, we have uh, that's only 180 wood, I guess. I don't know what's gonna happen. I have no idea how they're gonna recover almost because there are 100 plus streetlets on the other side of the map about to come over too. Oh my goodness, it's disgusting. Meanwhile, on the northern side, China and, uh, is this also China, right? Who's this one? Oh, we have ports. Um, they are walling up. Okay, that's some really bad walls right there. Okay, they're fixing it. Walling up against each other. And so it looks like we have the, the uh, trenches are being formed already. No surprise. The Sriolets are coming in. Unction's coming in. I'm assuming that we're going to see... Yes, serve off reforms is played. Huge musketeer switch immediately to vet musks. Thousand wood and then ransack is coming in. Meanwhile, the army is going at it here. Teal and green have to be thinking, oh my goodness, what, what do we get ourselves into? I, I feel really bad. It's just at the start of the game, they're already getting, getting pummeled. And meanwhile, China on the northern side with blue is just going right at it. No mercy from any player so far. It's just straight madness. The Hazar went in for an attack. All the cannons are down. So there are only dragoons left. But here come all the musketeers. Literally 100 plus. How many do we have here? Can I even? I can't even grab them all to see. I'm saying at least 100. Dragoons are on the retreat. We have some cattle here that can get uh, taken care of, but dude, we need a million longbows. We need one million longbows right now. There's no option otherwise. And China's attacking the northern side too, so the 2v1 is in full effect. I guess it's a 3v... 3v2? Is that how that works? I don't know how this works in this game mode. That is nasty. That is absolutely nasty. You gotta escape now. You gotta go somewhere else on the map. Like, I don't know where you're gonna go on this map. It's it's not looking good, though. Meanwhile, if we check out the scores here... Dude. Lazy Longbows up here are booming like mad. Age 4 China. Dutch getting all of these banks out. They're going at it good. Here are all the Brits. <laughs> all the Brits are right here. They're not trying to escape. They're trying to hold their ground. They're trying to figure it out. It's looking rough, though. Guys, it is looking rough for them. Got a feel for them a little bit here. F in the chat. For the 13-minute uh, town center attack. And all the musketeers are still coming. Like, there is no way this army is going to get cleaned up. You got to send Vils out. They're sending them out now. So many Vils are here. And big walls coming out here from the lazy longbows. They are not messing around. I, I think it's funny that they're called the lazy longbows, but none of them are Brits. I don't know how I feel about that, but I like it. All right. Uh, Vils are going down here. We have a fort coming out on the southern side of the map. As green tries to go south. They're trying to stay alive. I mean, the best thing that could happen here is that if purple or pink attack... Yellow and orange. I don't know if that's gonna that's gonna happen here anytime soon though. All of these villagers are on the run and they might run to these goons. Oh no. I think they're gonna be seen. We have the unction action going on here. They have not been seen. That's a huge, huge miss for orange there, but uh I guess teal will teal be okay for a second. Alright, so we do have some villagers gathering in the center. Um, let's check on red and blue for a minute here. Portugal going at it. Has a nice army mass, so making sure they have a little bit of an army. Don't want to be too exposed here. Two players just went industrial. 
purple and yellow both went industrial right now so these musketeers could begin upgrade again very soon china's looking good man it is just hard right now for green and uh, teal just getting hit so early i feel me stronger now very unfortunate all right the teal explorer has been rescued brit snob <laughs> Oh man, some of these times I should just... No, oh, no, don't go towards his villagers! Oh no, he's gonna go towards his villagers. That's not good. Not good. Alright, everything's getting taken down here. They are all alive somehow. I don't know how these villas are alive. He does have some down here too. I don't know why they're taking down the houses either, because then the Brits can rebuild. Not too sure. Green is on the last legs here. And so is teal. So I don't I don't think that this is the only way that they can live, I think, is if purple and pink attack. But it looks like they're occupied with red and oh yeah, like right here. This these walls are going down. Castle's gonna go up too. So they're preparing for each other here. So many musketeers. <laughs> What's his population? He's not even at two hundred pop. He's over pop right now. Getting our town center out. Houses are going out. I mean, really good boom right there. Pink, just, they're just not even caring. They're just attacking whoever comes in their way. I don't know how I feel about that. But that's what's happening here. Musketeers are all marching around. And the fort has been discovered as, long, as well as these villagers. And this extra town center. So, I don't know how this is going to work out here. Oh, Red has discovered. Red has discovered this, and his teammate is going in for the kill. No mercy right now for any of these players. It is just not looking good for uh, Teal and Green. The desperation. All right, so Pink and Purple still looking like the best in terms of score. Orange heavily invested into the attack, doesn't have the best eco or eco or score right now, but has the three town centers out, so looks like they're transitioning to later game phase. Getting uh mills out. Got plenty of coin mines there. And it looks like green and teal are basically done for. Uh, green's going for a center right here, I like that idea. That's probably what I would have done. I don't know what else he could have done really. Oh, we have some Oprenchniks coming in, trying to get some kind of action in here against against them. I like the efforts. I'm not sure how effective it's going to be. I'll check again north here to see if how the borders are getting built here. Castle's coming out. Let's check on some uh, Eco Madness here, see how Blue's doing. I mean, looking comfortable. Already has his factory out. So very focused on eco. They're still behind uh, the lazy longbows, but Fire Mountain here is looking pretty good as well. Good setup here. I think Red should upgrade these walls. But they're looking pretty comfortable. Um, I also like how they're kind of walling off section of the center here. I don't know what they're going to use it for. If it's just going to be eco or nothing or just military or what, but I like trying to grab that land. All right, so unfortunately for uh, Frozen by Chosen, uh, it is not looking good. I don't want to call them out, but man, they're not looking good right now. Villagers are just in the center of the map. These villas, I guess, have been getting raided by blue. It looks like they've been taken down significantly. No, no, here's some over here. They've just been moved. So blue has been very merciful. Uh, meanwhile, it looks like the border between pink and red is getting heated. China's moving forward here for an assault. See how that works out together. And it looks like yellow and orange are just continuing to mobilize and try to eliminate as much as possible on the side. There's a really large amount of space. They haven't even killed all the villagers yet. Uh, let's just go check on 
Let's see, let's check on Pink. Let's see how Pink's doing today. Lots of eco upgrades. Look at the rice patty madness back here. It is just eco madness for China today. Having a great time right now. These guys have to be feeling great. I mean, they are getting maxed out. Their scores are ahead of the others. Banks are out for Dutch here. They got to be going into age um, age five soon. Not too long here. Look at this amazing defense. Banks behind or in front of the uh, in front of the factories. Looking absolutely fantastic. And they're looking good there. So really interested to see how this is going to play out for them. Let's go check on uh, yellow down here. Oh, yellow is engaging some blue. I don't know how I feel about them just attacking everyone. Like, I understand it's free-for-all. But man, dude, they could form a lot of enemies if they just continue to press forward here. Uh, somehow, Teal's Explorer has been revived. He had some villagers down here. Maybe swooped in and got them. And they're trying to rebuild in the central of the map. This is not going to be good, dude. He needs to get these villagers central. At least some of them. Maybe maybe all right. it's okay on the side there. Crazy stuff. Now I got the scouting coming out there from Orange. Looking central. So, also, just a look here. China's been grabbing a really nice trade monopoly. It hasn't upgraded it yet. They have not been upgraded, but... Those trade posts are going to be very helpful. Man, look at this economy. This is looking fantastic back here. Really well established. On the other side here, let's see how it's going. Uh, age 5 Wonder is coming out from Blue. He might be the first one to age here. Uh, lots of good eco is in the back there as well, so really secure. Looks like Orange has discovered the new base, and all the Musketeers are on the way. There's no chance for Green and Teal now. It is just straight doom. It's not looking good at all. Really unfortunate for those players that did not work out, but that is the investment, man. If you have only late game cards in your deck, that is what you're vulnerable to. And I think this, especially compared to other free-for-alls, with the team coordination, can be especially deadly. All those musketeers coming in. Ransack is on them as well. It's going to be looking quite nasty. All right, so War Academy is going up over here. Lots of walls from Pink. Pink is going at it with the walls. And the Dutch. Our first to go Imperial, and simultaneously his teammate goes Imperial straight behind him. This team is looking strong up here. Will they be able to pull through? Will it be enough? I have no idea. Looking delicious, though. Are these these teams? All right, feeling really bad for these guys. <laughs> They're just like, what do you do at that point? All right, blue has also gone imperial, and so I mean, yellow and orange are not too far behind. I would say they're doing pretty good considering the early pressure. I would think, especially. So hopefully they'll get they'll get back into it. They do have a full army. Full army, upgraded, all that kind of good stuff. They have sense in military cards, so they do have that going for them. I'm really interested to see if what happens once this army is taken down here. Uh, yellow is aging as we speak. So it's going down right now. Cannons are coming out. Team is on a mission. <laughs> but green and they stay alive. They stay alive. Here is a, a purple spy on this side of the map. And he's a, he just killed the explorer. Oh my goodness. Purple on a mission to eliminate these two players. That is hilarious. I can't believe I caught that. And now he's invisible. Oh my goodness. Purple has spies throughout the map. Look at that scouting. It's fantastic vision. Like, <laughs> wow, I'm very impressed. I'm very impressed. I love the spy action. All right. China and Dutch. Are they going to go in for the port in Chinese? 
Or is it going to stay back? I don't know yet. And these muskets are looking deadly. Brits are trying again to come to life here. How is his eco doing? He's had a lot of villagers during this time. He can, can age up as soon as he can uh, get a town center up here. They're staying alive. They are staying alive, but is it going to be worth it? I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be worth it at all. I don't know how much of a chance they have. So many musketeers here, though. And yellow has gone imperial. I'm really wanting to see some action here between red and pink. Uh, orange has also gone imperial. So the Spanish... Russian combo is looking pretty good. They're just continuing to pursue these these stables. Oh, Princhniks are all that they have here. I mean, they really do have to eliminate green because the last thing you want are random Oprinchniks coming right into your base. You know? Especially if you're engaging someone else here, it could be mad. All right, so Brits here aging. Also have a livestock pen somewhere. Where's this livestock pen? Here it is. And they're training cows. So Brits thinking I still have a chance here, and I love it. Green has a few villagers left. Explore has been revived. They are looking like they could have a chance to come back here. So I'm interested to see if that if that plays out at all. Meanwhile, the arms race is on here between these two these two sides. Defense is going up. Trying to get as much up as possible. And uh, there we go. We have some wood being sent to green here so we can get this town center out. And it looks like they have a chance to rebuild now. Looks like yellow and orange are giving it a rest. These villagers being killed off here. I mean, they're starting from bare bones. But uh, we'll see if they can come back and sting the orange and yellow team here. The strategy demons. Alright, so mass war academy production all over the side here. This is what I want to see. These trenches are getting reinforced. So where is the engagement going to come from here? Still waiting for red to go up in age. How's he doing here? He is on the way. Once he does, anything can happen. We do have to consider, though, pink and purple have been aged up for a considerable amount of time. I mean, almost every upgrade's got to be in at this point. He has the 120 Villa Economy with China here. What does the other China player do? He did not decide to do that, so that'll be interesting to see if that plays into effect. He's going to be able to get a lot of resources in. In that meantime, I mean, he's literally a, he literally has two factories on top of it. He has Porcelain Tower in the regular factory. Look at that eco. Oh, my goodness. It's yummy. It just looks great. And Red has a Ville down here. I will say, though, I think the pink trade monopoly is going to be very helpful. I mean, that's even additional economy on top of the amazing economy already. I hear Cannon Fire. Where was that? I thought I heard campfire. Maybe I'm just reminiscing. All right, so the, Ch the Chinese army here is massing. Red forming walls down here already right along the border of Teal. And he has just gone Imperial. I really like the huge grabs here from Pink. Maybe we'd like to see some more grabs over here with Purple at this point. But they are looking strong. I will say, anything can happen at this point, uh, especially with the politics of free-for-all. You don't know who's going who's gonna to do what. We'll have to see here as all this gets finalized. More walls coming out here. Yellow looks like she, he's just sat, scouting around. Um, look at all these banks, man. Dutch. Oh, Dutch actually deleted their banks and rebuilt them back there. That is dedication. That is dedication to the economy. Fantastic. I mean, that shows you how much time they've had to prepare. So that is huge, actually. I think that is big time for Dutch. You have all this space up here. 
um, that are going to be it's going to be hard for players to get to the economy. So we'll have to see what happens with that. They are looking like very good favorites right now. I would say that yellow and orange and um, red and blue here are kind of neck and neck. I'd say a little bit. I mean, they both invested in armies early. They both have some armies, but uh, they're trying to catch up a little bit eco-wise. Uh, walls are going out here. It looks like the Lombos killed that villager, so never mind. And, dude, these purple spies are actually putting in a shift. And I love it. He's trying to switch it into stealth. He's not going to be able to do it there. That is fantastic stuff. I love it. Great use of the spy. Alright, so now we do have some peace. Time to breathe. Let's just look at Ecos right now. So King Danny uh, has a ton of coin, as as always with the Dutch. Not as much food, and his teammate has like the exact inverse. Uh, blue here, very close to the Air Chinese player. And red uh, is catching up. He's just getting those Imperial upgrades now. Teal lives. He's going age four. Uh, where are we at here? We need cheese monitor. Um, yep, he's trying to make it. <laughs> so he's getting villagers out, so that's big time. I'm really interested to see if these guys can come back in any way. All right, uh, orange. Looking pretty solid. Really low on the coin amount, but probably because he's grabbing so many upgrades. Imperial scrims, man, with Spain, they're, they're nasty, to say the least. And, um... The very balanced coin and food economy there from from uh, yellow. So, Fort went up there too. The borders are getting fortified. So, this is often what you see throughout the whole first half hour of Free For All. Is this kind of right now what we're seeing? Uh, but we're seeing a little later. I definitely heard some explosions there. Oh, here is red and, and blue. Are they going to go up against... Up against Teal here. Teal has just gone H4. More walls coming out here from yellow. Maybe uh, purple will be able to see that. I'm not too sure. Lots of flying crows are ready to go. Man, this is going to be good stuff. Super excited to see what happens here. Uh, I really want to see these two guys go at it. But uh, we do have the strategy demons down here. I also i am really enjoying the effort that Pink is putting into grabbing the center here. Extra wood. Um, I mean, but really, though, is, is kind of walling all this off so it's un impossible for anyone to get to it. Um, that just focuses his area on the battlegrounds here and over here. So I think it's a really good focus point. Not sure what's going on down here with this. Um, where are we at here? That is Russia. Want to see Teal here getting his factories out, getting extra town centers up north here, and they are coming back into it very slowly but surely. <clears throat> All right, China is mobilizing up here. Absolute madness and mobilization. Oh, Dutch. Uh, Reuters are making sure these walls are not getting built. So tensions are rising on the borders as we speak. There's a lot of them right there. Oh my goodness, estates proving essential. <laughs> Did you look at the villager spawn? Oh man, it's so good. The, we're going to have to watch this spawn right here. We need to come back once that spawns in. That is delicious. You don't see the card as often as you'd think, right? It's a really good FFA card. I mean, it makes it makes, it makes makes Brits even more of a sieve to deal with. Because normally, like, you don't want to take down their houses. Because they, they can just rebuild them and rebuild villagers. But with this card, you can just respawn them. So, like, you have to take down the houses. And then they'll rebuild them. So it's like, it's a double play. Maybe you could wall off the houses or something, I don't know. Look at this insane villager spawn. Wow. Brits going up to 
full eco within minutes and doing the manor boom on top of it. So chosen by Jesus getting some good card choices in there. Uh, meanwhile, China is trying to get all the walls out here. Man, where's this wall coming from? That's a very deep wall. Yellow is mobilizing here. I would just kind of tickle these guys, make sure they're not getting these up. But honestly, at the same time, if yellow does get these walls out with right here, that could be a very good land grab for them. We do have some hand mortar action. That is maybe what I've been hearing. I, I feel like I've been hearing some random hand mortars going off. Livestock boom is taking place. I'm glad that they're coming back a little bit here. He's got guard long biz. Yellow is pressing forward here. All right, so what are you guys' thoughts, man? I don't know what's going to happen. It looks like these guys are coming back very quickly. So it shows you how essential it is to knock them out fully. And maybe that's what they're doing here. We do have troopers on the way over. Lots of musketeers. Actually, just a small batch, not too many. Should be able to have enough long bills to take care of that if they come in. And the longbow upgrades on the way as well. Oh, here come the Spanish. They are remobilizing against them. They have found their efforts to rebuild. And they're going to go straight against it here. He is not Imperial, so this is going to be very hard for both these players to deal with. Right now, the saving grace would be if pink and purple, once again, they would just go at it, but I don't think it's going to happen here. Man, very brutal. I think they saw the score. They saw how much they were getting going. They needed to stop it again. He, he really needs to go Imperial, though. He has some culverins coming out on the other side here. Man, they are just pinched in for madness. The rest of this game, there's no way they're going to be able to be comfortable. All right, mass villagers are coming. He does have this cow boom, which has been extremely helpful. I think it's a really good strategy for him. So you have Imperial Skirmishers against these Longbow. They have double HP, which is what you get when you're Imperial. Here come the uh, Culverins. Cannons are going down. Both of them are down. So Culverins did their job. Longbows are trying to put in a shift here. He really needs to get this Imperial. I don't know how it's going to work, though. And here come the Musketeers in action. Looking around, trying to see what is going on all over. Man, this map is massive. All right. I don't know how... I don't know how they're going to be able to deal with this. They need... They need support. They need foreign aid. The bases are looking good, though. I gotta say, the bases are looking really good. Looking fantastic. All right, trying to take him down here. Doing the best they can. TCs are going down. Our Brits card is ready. What do you even send in at this point? I don't even know. I am. I don't even know what you send in at this point. Where are the factories at? Oh, they're right there, dude. He's got to defend those. I mean, at least these are not Daimyo, right? At least they're not training units. But still, this is not as good as you would like. Oh, he's trying to get the factories on coin right now. He, I think he realizes he needs a hit Imperial. Let's see what happens there. All right, we have an army mobilizing. Here it comes, pink. Yes. This is what I want to see, man. The war has begun. They have decided that they are prepared. These walls are going down very quickly. A nice skirmisher combination here. And action is also going down the south, so let the monitor back and forth. Here come the Chinese reinforcements. That is a massive army. You want to speak about huge army combos? Dude, Dutch and China are up there. China with extra population, Dutch with only the 50 villagers. Those are some very large armies. 
I like the combination of sieves. I like the choices. Alright, they are plowing through. Pink and purple are not having any issues getting through these walls right now. China's trying to mobilize the army. Meanwhile, down south, Lancers are coming in. Not good. It is not looking good. Walls are or a fort's trying to go up. It's not looking good at all. Meanwhile, back north, it's madness everywhere. You gotta love it. Trying to get the walls out. I'm not sure if they'll be able to. I think the uh, there's too much artillery. They even have cannons up there in the in the back. Man, there's a lot of fire going on here. Um, man, dude, yeah. If, if if they can get some reinforcements, if like this can get reinforced over here, that's gonna be very helpful. Looks like they have armies here. I think they need to get some more forward bases to continue the, this push. But uh, all those flying crows are going down. Revolution played by chosen by Jesus. It's going down here, and he sides with not the, not the USA. Is that Haiti? I don't recall what it is. It's going down here, though. And it looks like that is going to be the end of Teal and... Uh, man, dude, what a stand. They tried to come back. It was good efforts there. The cows are there, too. And here we go. The battle commences. Huge armies. Huge armies everywhere. We have natives in there too. We have the elite blowgunners have joining the fray. Lots of culverins here taking down all the artillery, so that's exactly what they needed. But it might be too late. The walls are opened. Trying to get reinforcements in there. And here come the armies. They're pressing together. Just trying to get the armies inside. Revolution is still commencing down south. Continuing to press those armies in. Do they have enough reinforcements? Here they come. Old Han reforms. He's trying to take down this section of walls. I think I would reinforce this section here, but... Cheese Monger has resigned. Green is out. And so is Teal. The first team of the tourney is out. Frozen by Chosen. They tried, man. They, they did their efforts. They just got pinched early. So that frees up a lot of space for yellow and orange to decide what they're going to do here. Just massing these resources as these two, these two are going to continue to go at it. Sorry, I clicked the wrong click there. Old Han reforms continue to do work here. They're trying to take down all these walls. Reinforcements coming in. These walls are not going to be built, so that's definitely not going to happen. So many culverins and cannon. I absolutely love it. Alright, so this wall is about to go down. These walls are really done for. Just trying to get some mountain castles up. Hand mortars are here. Hand mortars on both sides. <laughs> Hand mortars going at it, but um, I think these have a bonus, don't they? Because of that Dutch card. Maybe a Dutch card hasn't been sent in yet. No, they're, they're identical right now. All these buildings are going down, though, with these hand mortars. Looks like the attack is being slowed down, though. A lot of this Chinese and Dutch army is coming to a halt. Meanwhile, red and blue getting a good defensive line now. They're focusing on the ranged units. They've held the line. The advance is not continuing, so that's good for them. Interested to see how this plays out for them as this old Han puts in here. Uh, blue could respond with his old old Han. Old, own old Han, but I don't know. Tower and Sol Sword Rider is coming in. Portugal Church card has been sent. That's awesome. I love it. I love it. You don't see them enough. So, Black Riders are in. With that Portuguese Church card. Flying Crows are coming in here from pink. Let's check on the other side here. 
Resource counts are very good. Here we have the uh, Bestiro crossbows. <laughs> I love it. Why not, right? You have the wood. Alright, so now the uh, Dutch army has been stopped. Red is coming in here. There are no purple reinforcements. Uh, looks like he's trying to get forward base out. His attack might be stopped. Trying to rebuild these walls. He was almost in this last one here. But uh, that looks like it's going to be the end of this main attack. Not enough advancement. Really good engagements from both sides. Huge combination of different units. I'm not sure what Purple's doing right now. Here he is. He's got some skirms on the way. He just needs to get those four bases up. So this is a pretty good army to take down goons. You know, you get, get the melee and you get the ranged. This is how long can he continue the production of that is my ultimate question, you know? Yeah. He, it looks like he's trying to save up for spies. 100 villagers on coin. That's incredible. I wonder if he can afford it at some point. Well, if not, if he can't, his Dutch teammate probably... Oh, no, he can't. He's not there yet. <laughs> I was going to say, with those, all those banks, maybe they could. He really needs some Dutch reinforcements. Meanwhile, oh, Princhniks are growing. As well as goons. They are preparing to go against purple and pink. And they're actually going to go in right now. No way. I actually caught this. Wow. Look at that timing. <laughs> what are the odds? That is disgusting. So many Oprinchniks. And you know, I mean, the thing is, I think at some point, you know, like if, if someone advances to the finals and they choose Russia, you know they're going to get rushed. There's no way anyone wants to deal with this. But Dutch has been waiting. All these skirms are not what you want against it, but Dutch is right here for the answer. And meanwhile, they're sieging that down. So, dude, what are they going to decide to do? The madness is ensuing. All these Oprinchniks are coming in. He needs to get Reuters out so fast. He doesn't have any... Oh, he has a handful of stables right here. Does not have enough stables... That is absolutely d disgusting. Like, I don't even know how I feel. I, I think that might be too too gross to watch on screen. Might have to pan away and just look at the damage after. Uh, meanwhile, this is continuing to commence. They could have continued to push in here, but it just wasn't enough. And Dutch is going down. These are really good locations for these towers. That's actually going to be extremely helpful. He's continuing to push back with skirms, though. And Old Han is coming out now. So they've lost their field position. And just like that, it all changes. It is the beauty of free-for-all is that you never know what's going to happen. Trying to continue to try to hold the line there. Factories are down within seconds. So the Dutch factories are gone. Spies has been sent out. Pink with the absolutely insanely bold move of playing spies right now when his civilization is under the most pressure. Oh my goodness. That is unbelievable. The, it's just so much right now. Too much is going on. He's continuing to hold this line mostly on his own. Okay, these can are going to quickly put an end to that though. And he needs to get Reuters. I don't know. I mean, I guess he's just continuing with the army, but I don't know how long that's going to be able to last. These wonders are going to go down. China is mobilizing. Villages are full. They're just too nasty. And so this is why people are like, ban, ban Russia. You got to take them out. Got to take them out early. This is actually the first time I think we've actually seen this in Free For All, though. We've actually seen the Oprinchnik... Uh... 50 mass. I think this is the very first time. No one has had the uh, the nerve to do it. Alright, so a lot of this is getting taken down. Um, I don't know what the game plan is going to be. I mean, honestly, it's not like China needs it. You know, especially as I think he's going to be fine. He already has spies. China's ego is more than enough to be able to handle all that. But uh, this army here is going to get stopped, it looks like. 
So what's the game plan? I mean, it looks like really pink is just continuing to press right here. Is convinced at that front. The El, El Menti are just going to take down these op Opry. It's not, it's not the most uh, effective counter, but it's going to work. And Dutch Cannon right here, paired behind the Skirm. While Prince is continuing to try to do work. Meanwhile, Pink is continuing to try to carry it right now, but his eco is now at a full stop. He spent all of his coin on those spies. The temptation was there, and he took it. And so, I mean, he, I, there needs to be Reuters out at some point. I don't think these wonders really matter, but he needs to get these skirms down. Oh, I guess they're over here now. So, Dutch is going straight out. These cannon are looking delicious. Even though they're not upgraded, they're looking really good. All right, China's going back out. Villagers probably need to go back out now. This army has been stopped. Here comes... Ooh. We're having the standard army? I love it. I love the standard army, man. I don't know how it's going to work out at this point in the game, but I'm interested to see. All right, the nice wall here forming from the Dutch. He needs to get the eco sorted again. How is his eco right now? Where is Dutch at? He's got enough. He just needs to get troops out. Needs to mobilize those guys. Needs to get it all going here. But red and blue now are looking good. Coming in from the other side now. And this is the worry, right? This is what happens at this point in the game. It's just like, wow. You gotta be careful. Gotta be careful of who you're attacking. Gotta be careful of what point you're attacking. Yeah, this is just like, what? Come on. What, what are we doing there? I don't know why I'm not making any Reuters, though. I don't know why. what's going on here in terms of sorting it all out. And they just resigned. They have both resigned. So we now we have a 2v2. Man, dude, they're out that fast. I think they would have been fine. I don't even think this is that big of a deal. I think I don't know about the spies play. I think the spies play was kind of I don't know if it was the best idea. Man, they were killing it eco wise. They had everything in place. It just unfolded so fast. Um, really good play by them at, at, over here, especially though they're getting in very nicely. Um, and then they just got hit hard here. Um, wow. So that just opens everything up now. This is now a 2v2. We're almost an hour into the game. What is going to happen between the ports and Chinese and the Russian and Spanish? It is Fire Mountain versus the Strategy Demons. Forts are going out. And, I mean, there's so much of the map that needs to get taken down now to be used. Well, let's check on these Ecos. Let's look at these players' Ecos. Purple here looking amazing with ports. No wood to be heard of, but 30,000 resources apiece. Blue on the other side. I think he's trying to save up for spies, maybe it looks like. Has an insane amount as well. More on the coin side. He has a great amount of wood, too. That's really amazing. I guess that much wood. Uh, checking on down here. Spain has the most resources, I think. 70,000 coin. Looking disgusting. Spies has been played. Blue has just played spies. Does... Do these guys have spies? They do not have spies. He definitely could buy spies, though. Interesting. So, Spies has been played. He got enough for it. Here comes the Oprinchnik box. They see it coming now. That is way less effective now. They see it coming 100%. And Dutch Dragoon, or uh, Portuguese Dragoons are going to be a perfect uh, perfect play to counter them. So, I don't think that's going to be nearly as effective this time. Looks like he's just going to walk straight up there. I don't know why, uh, why Spies isn't bought over here. I mean, he's got plenty of coin. Like, more than plenty. 
Now I'm gonna rush it here. Rush is eco. Well, tons of food, not as much coin as all at all. He needs a lot more coin. All right, so Prince next now are getting hit pretty hard all over the place. Hand more is coming over. I think this is going to take care of pretty easily. I, I don't think that this is going to be as effective, especially with these poor Genites, man. They're just going to be too nasty. So it is taken down within seconds. And here we go. So here comes the armies. I wonder what they're going to try to do here. Moral Princhnik in queue. Don't know why I'm clicking on them. Let's see blue here. So now his ego is trying to recover. He doesn't even have... He doesn't even have 100 vills. He's got 82 villagers. Interesting stuff. He's got 140 population for army then. That's amazing. Alright, here come the musketeer spam. Russia in full effect. Lots of uh, cannon coming in here too, dude. These horse guns are going to look delicious against these skirmishers. Get them in there, bro. Looks like a Prince Nix. We're trying to take down some of this stuff. Yeah, there they are. Cannon are just going to wreck all that. Hand more here is going to go down seconds. All taken care of. Meanwhile, over here, flaming arrows are down, or uh, sorry, flying crows are down. Yellow musketeers are coming forward. Lots of action still to go. Spies has been sent out from red as well. My goodness. So both of these players have spies. On the other side here, spies has not been played. From either of these. Wow. Okay, so this is gonna be this is gonna be very interesting. Now the counter is on. The counter attack is on hundred percent. They have so many troops to send in here. These Portuguese goons are gonna be very strong. If they just continue to take down this unction, it's gonna be very helpful too. I don't know if Oh, has he just gotten spies? What's going on here? Oh, no, this is, uh... Oh, I have that on the wrong thing. All right, no, that's, that's, uh... Blue. Low coin count. He's got the cannon here. He needs to get these armies out. You hear that, a cannon? Getting into position, dude. Heavy horse guns are just gonna mow down. I don't know, are those Imperial? I don't think they are. I think it says Imperial horse cannon. So he can get them even better. But that still is just going to be disgusting against these musketeers. Uh, let's check on on the other side here. Let's look at the eco of these players. A little, he's got he got to switch over the coin at some point. I feel like, well, he's just continuing to make musk the whole game as a strategy. There's a few of Prince going up. I don't know if that's going to be uh, that's going to be the right balance for him. We'll see though. Spain on the air hand, continuing to not get spies. Looks like he's going to continue to stay focused on the uh, full economy. And here come the Oprinchniks. Dutch goons. I mean, so I keep saying Dutch. Port goons. Coming over. Nasty armies. All over the place. Old Hans being played. I love the mortars and how completely useless they are against units. Like, it's pretty funny. You gotta say it's pretty funny. All right, it's been taken care of. Lancers looking delicious. Taking care of those cannon. They were doing good, but now they're gonna be cleaned up. Cassadors are coming in now too though. So it's gonna be very good against these musketeers. And here come the armies. So what is China looking like here? I gotta figure out this eco. He's staying at 80 villagers. I'm amazed. I'm amazed. He has not even sent in old Han reforms. Maybe he's just gonna lean back to that at some point. But right now he's just... He doesn't even have anyone on food. 
Like, there's no food focus for him. Does he even have... I'm, I'm just... Like, I'm just really... I'm Wow, I don't even know what's gonna happen with that. They're holding the line here, though. I mean, these ranged unit combos, the uh, Archibusier, you have the Cassador, and Genites, dude, all behind. Just plowing at these units are gonna be looking really good. They need to take care of these missions as much as possible. I don't know how the uh, Musk handle in this combo. I think Streelets could be kind of good, but the wood on this map is, is running out quickly. So, he's continuing to take a lot of stuff down. I don't know what the game plan is, if he's going to make anything up there or not. Oh, Mortars are advancing forward here. Getting some good hits there. I like that. As you're, as they're advancing in one direction, you are advancing in another. That is the trench warfare that we'd love to see. Navajo reinforcing. And so he's continuing to press forward there. Looks like we've got a fort out here. I don't even know if that was there earlier, but I'm just now noticing it. Cassador. We need some Lancers, man. Where are the Lancers? Flamethrowers! Yes! <laughs> I love it. So, Territorial Army, it looks like the go-to for China, and Casador Goon for port, not too surprising. I mean, these Musketeers are literally just, they're, it's like a firing squad. Like, the Musketeers are just there, and it's like, alright guys, just fire in that direction, you're gonna kill someone. <laughs> That's getting, it's getting brutal. Uh, it looks like these are mostly taken down. So, good advancement there from China. Goons coming on the side here. Get some good hits. How are the economies doing? Ah, yes, that is what that is what uh, Russia needs right there. He needs to send in those eco cards. So glad those are coming in for him. Meanwhile, uh, yes, it looks like heavy horse guns getting some cannon there for uh, Spain. But it looks like Spain's about the same. The same. Run low on the wood. So that is going to be an issue. Does this guy still have a million wood? He still he has he has mostly wood. This China player has mostly wood in his economy. It's incredible. I love it. He has not taken it down. They were not able to take it down in time. The mortars were getting distracted with different buildings there. That's really annoying. That's unfortunate. All right, this ranged unit combo here is looking very nasty. I know that Spain was researching those horse cannon. So I'll probably come in at some point. Um, so let's see what kind of work that happens here. I'd love to see some cannon from both sides here. But it looks like the units are mostly infantry from both players. Both teams, excuse me. Fire Mountain versus Strategy Demons. Game one of the 2020 Free For All Tourney. It's non stop action. What else do you expect at this point? The uh, one iron flail is gonna take that all down. And the armies are advancing. It looks like they got a really good Imperial Hussar pop. And the huge infantry masses are coming forward here. Waiting for Lancers to spawn in any second though. He's continuing to make Genites. He's got some Lancers out now. Train time does not look like the best for them. He does not have Cavalry Train Time in his deck. That could be a massive L. That could be massive. China's China's little nerf there of having poor Train Time is not even taken to effect now. I mean, they basically have the same Train Time. Huge Opry Mass coming across the map. What else do you expect? <clears throat> and they're continuing to press forward here. So, we'll see how late, late it takes them to see that. Um... They're really massing nicely here, coming forward. These Lancers aren't even getting close to the army. It looks like both of this is going to be taken down. One hand mortar. Go take them out, bros! Let's see, uh, red here. Red goons are coming out. Here comes the Opry raid. Does he not have train time as well? He does. He needs a church, church upgrade, I think. I can't see it. All right, well, this infantry mass is continuing to put in a shift against the Lancers, so that's pretty up there, and wow. 
Uh, this army here is taking care of those stables. So here I'll come the Opry. Goons should be able to handle it. I don't know. I mean, I'll probably get in there, maybe take down a factory. But it's not like Port's Eco needs a factory. You know what I'm saying? Just checking these uh these egos real quick. Spain's right there. Is he still he's he's not he's content on not getting spies. Um China's right here. I mean, I don't know why I don't know how this guy's handling this at this level, but he is continuing to be persistent with that. Port's Eco is good too. We'll see if it takes it down here. And it looks like he's just gonna go for some vill kills. Uh, meanwhile, this army does come forward here. So if uh, the strategy demons make it to the final, everyone knows that they will Opry raid your base. So they might have a huge target on their backs. All right, Spanish army is advancing forward now. Yeah, one one uh, Opry right there. Take him down, just overkill him. Alright, well that is some back and forth action a little bit here. Um, looks like more villies are being trained up by ports. Looks like this is going to get taken down. I'm not sure what the kind of game plan is for these guys. You know, I, I would really try to get... I don't know, what I guess you take this as much of this down as possible. Maybe send in, like, uh, petards or something. Could be kind of helpful. But, um, the ranged unit combo seemed to be working pretty well for them last time. We'll see if it can happen again. Their armies are coming down. Just gotta get those goons back in action. One Opry. Taking the L now. And walls are going back up. See what China's got in store for the counter. I'm still beyond amazed at his economy. Wow, he's getting more people on food now. He had like nobody on food. That was incredible. Alright, everything's gonna take him down here for the most part. Our fort is up. Four bases are coming through. A lot of ranged units going at each other here. Function looking nice in the back. More Opries. A lot of infantry being played for both sides. I'm kind of surprised there's not more. We got some more goons now. I guess Lancers can't get in those walls. But he also doesn't have the Lancer train time, so that's a really big L, I feel like. Old Han Reforms is coming in. It's coming in hot. This guy still has 80 villagers. I'm, am I'm amazed. It's just China's, China's strength. And this guy, oh, he's getting some more now. He had 80 as well. All right, looks like more Opry are about to come over. I mean, if I was, if I was, I would probably just put red on Opry duty, you know? Just respawn, kill them all. And then just respawn over here as needed. But I don't know what the game plan is for these guys. They are going at it. The melting is occurring. Exalted flamethrowers. I could not be more pleased by seeing those guys. That's a great, great play. Really happy to see someone actually use flamethrowers. And they're just melting right now. Meanwhile, these guys are going to get encountered immediately. Barbary Corsairs are hitting the battlefield. Yes, sir. We're seeing it all happen as soon as the walls get up. Like, it couldn't be more exact timing. 
The walls get up and then the Oprinchniks arrive. Arcabuci air mass is coming in. They're just shooting away at each other. And, oh my goodness, the Barbary Corsairs absolutely annihilate the Oprinchniks combined with the goons there. Ouch. That's nasty. So you mean, at some point, he, I mean, he said he got these infinitely, so at some point he can just send them in. He can just send them in and, and he'll be final. He's like, wow. So a really good counter there. On the other side here, the goons are coming out. Uh, looks like this is going to be the battle line at the moment. How are the Ecos looking? The China, or the Spanish economy is continuing to grow in terms of coin. I can't tell if the food was growing or not. I feel like that's about the same. Slowly grow, growing in coin amounts. Oops, sorry, that's the wrong. That's the wrong one there. Uh, Russia's slowly growing a little bit there. This China is a little bit less, but food's growing because he's, he's got more people on food now. But it's amazing. I can't believe he was had like eight people on food for a long time. All right, so many infantry. Does he see those bills? As the most anticipatory play, if those are the bills he sees. Maybe just sending down. I'm not sure what that's about. All right, flamethrowers are hitting the battlefield again. Red really needs to get some good. Uh... Oh, he's going. He's right here. I was gonna say he needs to get good for base location, but this is a pretty decent spot. It's hitting Adam there. Walls are going up from China. I think flamethrower is a really good play. I think the flamethrower mass is a nice play. Trying to get our fort out there, it looks like. Forward bases. Some a uh, little bit of maybe mini mini raids going in there. Goons are on this side, so the this is just gonna this is gonna continue. There's no way this is gonna go down anytime soon. What's gonna be the breakthrough? So many Russian musketeers. Huge cavalry mass. Red pumping them out here. Really good play there against those skirms. And now we got flamethrowers coming in. That is a great, great little push there. Here comes some cavalry, maybe trying to kill those vills. I think those are ones that were by his base. Good cav spawn. We haven't seen too much melee cav recently, so it looks like he does have train time in now. Here are some villagers creeping forward. Wow, really good villagers location there. But uh, the strategy demons repel it. He's been upgrading the uh, culverins. I mean, not culverins, excuse me, organ guns. Which would be nasty against these units here. I hope to see some organ gun action. He doesn't have a lot of wood, though. Maybe his uh, Chinese teammate can give him some wood. How, many often, how often do you hear that? Some good action here. So the line has been held. It's just continuing to be held here. Dutch goons. Does he have spies now? How do you see that? I wonder. Oh wow! I must. I don't know how he saw that. <clears throat> Interesting vision. Um. I wonder what the game plan is for both these players, for both these teams. You know, here I would just mass some cannon like nuts. Excuse me. I guess they're just going to continue to press here. I think uh, strategy demons are just going to continue to press forward here. Here come the uh, flamethrowers. Look at that range resist. Insane range resist. The skirms are looking good. The unction skirms are looking good. I don't think he has... Where? How many uh, missions does he have? 
Needs more mission. Missions. Send the present forward there. Huge goon mass coming in over here, and now the counterattack is on on this side. A little counterattack press. Interesting stuff here. There comes a huge goon mass. Trying to get a factory up back, or not a factory, a fort up back there. There's more goons. Did we have some units deleted? I think he did. They don't really, they really don't want to lose his forward base. So some continuation of uh, back and forth action here. Goons are plugging away. Howitzers spawning in here. They're not Imperial, but you know, they might do a good job. If you can continue to protect them. So the attack has been stopped there. And it looks like it's gonna give enough time for uh, them to regroup over here. Economies have been just about the same um, throughout this time. It's slowly increasing. I would say just about everyone's been slowly increasing. China here is, I guess it's been balancing out. He's just had more people gathering food. This one has been the, China here has been the least amount on terms of the economy. Um, I don't know how much longer they, these, this is going to continue though before there's like a breakthrough. I wonder what the breakthrough is going to come from. Maybe try to like establish, establish a new front over here or something. Maybe get some more mortars. They don't really have any mortars. I think some mortars would help them out. Speaking of mortars, the fort is down. So many flying crows coming in too. He's gonna try to establish the fort right here. Mortars are doing a good job on both sides. That fort's going down. It looks like the press here is going down. This is going to be taken care of, so the battlefield is just... It's World War I action. They're just going to continue to recycle the battlefield. Roger here is just continuing to go to work. And it's just going to continue the madness here. Need to get some reestablished fronts. Ports are trying to build some four bases again. Opries look like they're coming out over here. And that is their desperation play right here, is the Opries. Whenever they start losing, they just play the Opries. Pretty easy card to play. Um, but the Corsair combo with the Goons took pretty good care of them last time, so I'm interested to see if that continues. Huge artillery mass is moving up here. And here come this army. Flamethrowers are going to do some good siege there. As well as these guys taking down the fort. Trying to. Look how many they got there. That is going down super fast. And that is taken care of. The fort is down. The melee does, no, does not enough. Uh, trying to build another one there. This is all taken care of. A few Opry are going over, but the goons are coming out. I think the best thing, I mean, the biggest thing in these kind of battles right now is getting really good barrack and uh, cavalry placement position. You know, like the ones on the side here were very helpful in like sparking that attack because they have mortars coming on the side. Um, you know, reestablishing the four bases was really important. This villager is just idle. Orville. The lady was just straight up confused. Uh, so I think it's going to be pretty helpful. Maybe like getting some back over here to change the front a little bit. Maybe some up in here. I think I would try to put some even back on this side. You know, just if I'm, if I'm the uh, strategy demons here, that's what I would try to do. I think just re-establishing those fronts. It's just really helpful. Extremely helpful. Huge cav mass is coming in, my goodness. So they're kind of pressing forward here. They're getting more forts out. He's slowly making some advancements here. With these little armies. 
That's kind of funny. Huge musk spawn. What else do you expect? I would love in the DE if they made that like an ability. Like there'd be a card you can send in where you have like a short time period where you can send out instant units. I think that'd be a really good uh, kind of change for that, you know? Flying Crows going to work, man. Flying Crows are looking pretty good in today's game. He's got that two infinite shipment. So, I mean, at this point, it's probably all he's got to send in. Yeah, so it's been really helpful for him. Dude, the uh, Imperial Musk are struggling against these guys here. That's pretty funny. So what's the game plan going to be? It's like they're building some forward there. So he's really running these guys from the entire other side of the map. Continue to try to send people forward to reestablish these bases, but surprise there's no artillery. We're, like There's no mortars, there's no cannon. Like I feel like there would be a lot more of that going on with these combinations, but they're going to continue to send infantry at each other. A lot of territorial armies are on the way. And the Flying Crows come in super fast with this Confucius gift card, so that is a really great... That is a really great benefit to China. really like seeing that played in there. Look at that spawn, dude. Fly, flying Crows and... Flamethrowers... being played. This is really good production here overall from China. All right, so the, these bases are being established. We'll see if it makes a difference for them in the hunt for land. Flamethrowers. Dude, they're putting in a shift, man. The flamethrowers are putting in a shift. So are Flying Crows. They're doing really good. I mean, what, you gotta... These are unctioned, too. They're not, granted, they're not 10 missions right here. Well, there are five of them, missionaries. But still. Heavy cannon have arrived. Maybe switching up a little bit. Blue is persistent on sending some cavalry there to put a little bit of pressure on. See if that makes any difference. Alright, new forward base has been established on the side there. Side base, I guess you could say. Flying Crows annihilate the heavy cannon. Oh my goodness. And we have a Falconette spawn here too. With the Rogers Rangers. So both these forts are getting hit hard. Huge press here from... Uh, from that, we have Omprinchnix coming in now. He was waiting for the different spawn. I'm trying to upgrade here. Cossacks, maybe? Tartar Loyalists. Coming in here. Those can are going to get taken down. Doesn't have enough anti-cav. That was a pretty good spawn there of Opri. But uh, the press is continuing from the side. Just got all-around madness is, is what I see today, guys. All-around madness. Let's see how to repair these forts. Probably should. Force live. It's taken care of there by some nice lance response. They're it's continuing to get siege. This might get taken down here. I don't think he's going to repair them. It doesn't look like. Alright, trying to put a little bit of pressure on on the side here. Surprise both play. I mean, I guess... China, I mean, ports is a really good combination for China because they don't have to worry about the anti-cav as much. You have some culverins coming up here, so it looks like they're a little sick of dealing with these infinite flying crows and flamethrowers. See that work out for them here. This is getting hit. Oh, there's a port mortar back here going to work. One port mortar. Look at that range. And it is down. Wow. And these two flamethrowers are putting in a shift right here, too. <laughs> Pretty funny stuff. Alright, oh, we're trying to get back here, but I don't think it's going to make too much difference. How's the uh, Chinese economy is coming to a halt? He needs to get some more vills out. Looks like he's making another, another thing here. I don't know if these guys are going to be able to 
get through much at all. The musk production continues. I think the, I mean, for Spain here, the not having the cavalry train time card is, is really, I don't know how I feel about that. He needs that, and no infantry train time too. I think in these kind of games, man, it is extremely helpful when you get those little advantages, like you see here with Russia, right? Get one fort up and just plow a ton of units out, and then you have a whole area established. You can kind of refocus. But he's doing a good job of just continuing to maintain the production. More musketeers coming down here. China's eco's kind of switching over again. Amazed at how good the eco is doing with such little troops. He's got an old Han now, so old Han reforms is coming out now. Does have the uh, infinite flying crows still. Continuing to send dragoons from the side here too. Where is this mortar? My goodness, dude! The range of the port mortars is insane. Like that is going to go down because of one mortar. The range on the fort, too, is pretty crazy. Look at that up there, hitting that, too. I don't think he sees this one mortar putting in a shift. One more hit, and it's down. And it is down. Amazing. Amazing. Now this one's going to come right back up in time. Here come some more dragoons from the flank. Lancer's going to try to confront them. Trying to get these established. Big spawn of flaming or flying arrows there. I keep saying flaming arrows. Check here with how Spain's doing. He has sent spies. So Orange does have spies. Do you have a little cab mask coming in now as well? They've been trying to mobilize this position again, again, trying to re reinforce it, but it just has not worked out too well for them. Uh, red and blue have just been able to continue to press in. Do you have the cab coming around there? I don't think it's going to cause too many problems. Let's have to press in a little bit there. He's trying to just slowly. Slowly get into those walls. Old Han putting in a shift. This fort is taking hits. It's about to go down. They reload very quickly. They really do, the Flying Crows. And it is down. Gotta say, they've been doing very well of continuing to keep the pressure on both sides. Imperial Rods, baby. Lancers. Pairing it with some Cossacks that are not upgraded. You gotta love it. And Blues continue to put a little bit of pressure on over here. Not noticed, or just they're not caring about it, I guess, is the one our way to look at it. Slowly getting in closer to the base. Advancing in. It seems like every time they really get in, though, they get taken back. But this is the best advancement they've had so far. Here come the dragoons. We are getting some raids here. Or trying to take down those walls, at least. That is going to be another layer down, so it kind of slowly is getting into the base here. That's not too much. He's only got two more layers left. If it's noticed or not, we'll see. Kind of funny. And most of the attack has been stopped. Rods are continuing to be put in production here from Spain. Let's check it over here. China putting production back in action. Wrong dude, sorry. Ports. What was that? That's been taken down. He's going in again. 
ports, sending those guys out. Where are the goons at? Here they are. Right in the front. Barbary Corsairs hitting the battlefield. Such a fun shipment, man. You don't see them enough. It's continuing to uh, kind of go at it there. More goons are on the way. So goon or Rod's gonna be a good counter against these cabin goons. Dude, this mortar is just OP. It's just one mortar. <laughs> it's just great to have. It shows you how good they are. I would really love to see ports go full uh, organ gun. Dude, there is literally a heavy cannon up here on this side of the map. And these walls are about to go down too. Not going to be able to get in, but still putting some pressure on the door. Rods are putting in shifts. I love the rod action. This is all going to go down. It is not going to go down. The heavy can is hilarious. Get absolutely slaughtered, bro. <laughs> oh, let's watch this. We got to watch it. Oh! <laughs> God, I love the physics. And their little hats, like their hats, go down too. So good. Alright. Uh, we have a lifeguard shipment sent in. Cannon on the back of it. Is looking good for... Strategy demons, you gotta say. Well, I'm not getting prepared. The one heavy cannon is being a butt. It's kind of funny. Rod's looking good. Might have found a really good combo here. Dude, that one mortar is just continuing to be a nuisance. Advanced fort from the ports. Where is this fort wagon? We're gonna see if it can make its way over there. Here it is. I love the effort. Like, just straight up over there. No mercy. Just right next to the base. So they're trying to put advancements on. There's so many units. Every, like, I feel like red and blue have so much less of a unit count. And they're, you know, they're holding up okay. Like, this guy has 73 bills on, on his eco. He's at bare bones right now. But they're still staying alive. I'm pretty amazed, honestly. Goons are flying in again and again. More cavalry is on the way here with this press. This could be good. He could he could be able to get in here. This wall's going to go down within seconds. It was not repaired. And that's going to go in two. Is that fort going to be able to go up? It's going to be interesting. So I'm hoping you're trying to do something, but probably not going to be able to do too much. Here they come. So one wall is down. Can he get into the next layer there is going to be interesting. Trying to press forward. Fire Mountains getting tested. Will their flame be extinguished? I don't know yet. Dude, are they able to get in here? No way. Absolutely amazing. So we have nasty raids kind of going on here. Not that it's going to cause Spain huge issues, you know, but it is, it is happening. Meanwhile, this battlefield is slowly advancing towards their base. Very slowly. The war of attrition is continuing. Chinese economy is on a halt. Ports here has plenty of resources. Literally has resources for days. And so do the other team. Rods have been fielded. Looks like they've taken care of most of it. 
Rod's on the way. Dude, there's one mortar. You are the MP MVP. You're a howitzer. You're not even upgraded, and you're just putting in a shift. <laughs> it's taking down so many forts. It's actually insane. And the advancement has has halted. Look at this huge mass. Meanwhile, the fort is up on the other side. Get out. How do they not see that? They don't see it at all. Amazing stuff here. I'm amazed. I'm amazed every time how, how they get the defense out, but they do. Look at all these. It's flying crow shipment is saving the day. Confucians, whatever it is, plus the flying crow shipment is underrated. That Confucius gift plus the flying crows, guys. It needs to happen. All right. So this is a base that's being established here. I mean, if they do good work, they could get in. This right here could be a nice spot to go into. We'll see if that, that does anything. All right. Dude, the Musketeers. There's too many of them. So what is the game plan for these teams? I mean, it looks like... Oh, we got Cassadors coming in. Red's gonna start pressing there, it looks like, maybe. So it, maybe, like, getting small attacks here is the game plan of red and blue. Maybe just try to eventually catch them off guard. Meanwhile, for yellow and orange, it's just send units into death. Like, literally just send them into their doom. Don't care what the other team is making, just continue to make the same thing. But uh, orange has shifted over the rods. Kind of see what goes on with it. The Musketeers are just doing enough. They're just showing up, as Musketeers do. All right, so that has been taken care of here. Are they gonna continue to press forward here? We have pikes on the way. I cannot be more pleased. Pikes are on the way. Going straight in for siege. Cassadors are coming back out over here. Which I think is good. I think that's a really good combo. Cassadors are gonna be doing great against those rods. Here comes Russia. Everywhere, dude. Instantly. And, pre I mean, ever there's just attacks everywhere at this point. It is going on all over the place. The attack has been stopped. Fort looks like it's about to go down, unless you get some good spawns in here. I wouldn't lose that position. I would really invest in saving that position. But, they're re-winning this front. It's pretty vital to his production and everything. Cassadors are continuing to come out. Are they coming out up here? I think so. I think it's going to lose that. Tell you what, though. These Flying Crows, man. MVP paired up with those uh, flamethrowers earlier. They're just holding the line. Can't uh, count out these RQBCA as well. And the Cassador. Okay, it's being taken down now. And this has been saved, so China is continuing to press forward. Oh, there are cast orange. Oh, he went in over here. He's trying to go into orange. So it's no to yellow. To yellow, you're not you're not good enough. We're going into orange instead. Kind of funny, dude. These flying crows are massing nicely. He's got to yeah. He's sending them in down there now. Got to take these flying crows out, man. No culverins. Guess not. Wow, that they all went down instantly. I'm quite amazed at how they're continuing to put good trades on like that. Here comes another uh, Chinese army. The villagers coming forward to gather the huge chests of coin. I guess not. Maybe he's just going to build this stuff here. Lancers are on the way. This is what needs to be played. And China's pressing over here. It's continuing. Looks like the Flying Crow Mass is about to be stopped. Mortars are doing good work there for Spain. But I just take care of. But man, the Flying Crows just continue to put to, to like take shots, dude. They're just continuing to spit out. Doing what they need to do.
I love the rockets in this game. The rockets are so good. Splash damage. It's fantastic. It doesn't matter what the unit is, it just puts a general damage on it. That's great. So let's take them all care of here. China, the pressure's on now. Shows up at the door. It's got a flamethrower in there, too. One is down. Skirms are coming in behind. There we go. Culverns are finally entering the battlefield, but it's too late. All the, all the uh, flying crows have been taken care of. Elite Clubman! Yes. Get there, guys. Welcome to Arizona. China trying to get in here, but the uh, attack has been stopped. And Russia's continuing to press over here on the side. It is not looking too good now for uh, for China Port. I just don't. I just don't know if they have enough juice to mix it up here and push through. But we'll see. The siege here is going to be good. The, the clubmen have a uh, siege bonus because of the ransack that was sent in earlier. So we'll have to see. But man, dude, these flamethrowers and flying crows are just melting these musketeers. I gotta know how many musketeers are made at the end of this game. At least 10,000. Like, they're getting absorbed. Clubman and Chang Dao, man. Most underwhelming battle you've seen all day. More port goons on the way. The pressure's continuing. Trying to establish good lines here, right? They're trying to figure it out. Unction is coming in good there with a brand new set of missionaries. I mean, they're just set on coming out on this side. Like, this is this is their side. They're going in on this side. I don't know how this Chinese economy is not done for, but, dude, it shows you how good it is. It shows you how good it is. Sorry, did not mean to click on that. Mortars are finally coming in consistently here from uh, Spain, so that's really good to see. You just gotta keep them away from those flying crows. Flying crows will take them down pretty easily if they get in a good, uh, good range with them. Uh, continuing to send in the 10 Rodoleros, Rodoleros card. The thing that's different between this card and some of the other infinite cards, though, is that these do cost population. Right? If you look at the, uh, Russians here, he has 22 shipments. These guys don't cost population, so you can just send them in. So they are very helpful because of that. But man, dude, he's got 22 shipments of them. All right, his coin eco's catching up finally, because he's just spending all of these musketeers here, mostly food. El Menti, man, amazing. <laughs> You're seeing it all today. Ooh, China putting pressure on man. These small side attacks are actually doing some work. I'm not gonna lie, they're they're doing some work. They're putting off these main attacks a little bit. Changing the front slightly like this does make a difference. So a lot of that's going to get distracted, maybe. But it looks like they're continuing to press here. Getting really close to the base. This is the last wall before the base. So that could be that could be it if they can get in there. This is going down, though. This is, this is putting a shift. I don't even know if he notices it yet. But they're just invested at this point to moving forward. The wall has been destroyed. The wall has been destroyed. Dude, they can go in. It is a clear gate. The finish is in sight. It's like this is getting taken care of now. The end is in sight. 
It's not looking good. A massive Barberry Corsair mass is coming in here from ports. He got, he's got to put it right on top of those. Oh, Prince Nix, he's missing them. He's going around the other side. We do have some pikes here that are going to go in, though. Oh, now they're coming back around. That's going to be too late, though. Those walls are not going to go down. The, or the pikes are going to put too much work in. They have pushed back more, though. The, every time it seems like yellow and orange are in, they get pushed back, but they're slowly inching forward. How much longer do they have? How much do they have left in the tank? I tell you. It's looking good. It's looking good for strategy demons. Four is getting finally built. Got some walls here, or some uh, shipments here, excuse me. Why am I saying walls? What? What? I'm losing it. We're almost an hour and 45 minutes in and I'm losing my mind. I'm quite amazed at um, how long it's been taking these guys to get through, though. Like, considering the, the uh, economy here, which, I, I mean, it's just been back and forth. Does he have any... He does have those two eco cards in, okay. The Flying Crow ship has just been saving the day, man. It looks so good. It needs to be used more. Especially this Confucius Gift. It's a really good card, it looks like. Man, Spain here with coin for days. It just needs a production. Red, container ship, and Barbaric Corsairs. We do have Imperial Organ Guns on the way. It's about time. It is about time. I want to see these bad boys. Dude, look at the artillery mass. It's incredible. Lancers advancing forward. Come on, get there, guys. I want to see these organs, though. Here they come. There, a max pop. Here come the organs. And they are going away. Here they come. Anywhere they shoot, it just turns to XP. Except we can't see the XP, so that's unfortunate. <laughs> Slowly advancing here. These musketeers are getting working, man. They're just continuing to come. No matter what's going on. The efforts of the dragoons in the back here are being consistent. Looks like the organs are finally taken care of. Or not. No, they're not. They're still there. As soon as they're about to get in, man, just more more resistance comes. I'd be amazed if they get counter pushed or something. That'd be incredibly embarrassing. More and more musketeers. I think I would try to take down some of these walls. Maybe send a few of French chicks, start taking some of these down so they can kind of open this up a little more. Dude, consistent organ gun production now from ports. Yes, sir. I love it. Yeah, these musketeers are not going to be nearly as effective now. You do have some culverins back here, though, so that is what is needed. Plugging away. Organs are drawing back a little bit here. They're right back at the front. Wow, what a snipe. Did you see that snipe? Unreal snipe from this culvert. Unreal. Alright, the port uh, organ gun production has stopped. Check up here. Surprised they're not sending any of those natives in. I mean, you got 26 of them. Just send them in, man. But who needs natives when you got a million musketeers? 
As you can see here, they're pressing. Imperial Musks coming forward. Trying to get sorted out there. Back to the uh, skirmishers. Spain is. Oh my goodness. Yes, sir. Huge cannon masses in the back here. This is really the last ditch effort. Like, if this does not go through well, they're going to be toast. The base is right there. Organ guns are setting up. And they're just plowing. They're very satisfactory to uh, use, aren't they? The organs. Especially if you get enough of them, man, they beat everything. It's hilarious. Lancer's trying to come over there. Not too sure where they're going. You take down this kind of stuff right here. Strategy demons are pushing closer. Fire Mountain continuing to resist. Heavy cannon shots going to work. Needs to imperialize these bad boys for even more nastiness. Often forget to get the Imperial upgrade from the uh, factory, you know. So I kind of forget about it. Alright, here they are. They're coming out now. Flying crows still on the way. I like how they're continuing to put on pressure on the back here. It's why they can't continue to focus up here with all of it, what's going on. So it's, it's being helpful. Heavy cannons. Putting work in, organ guns, flamethrowers, flying arrow or flying crows, flying arrows. My goodness. You gotta give it to the resistance though. You gotta put it in. Get it, flamethrowers. Get it done. Walls are trying to be put back up here. You gotta love it, man. You gotta love it. Alright, we are going on to... One hour. 45 minutes. We've just passed it. And it's looking close, man. Like, they are on the edge, but the resistance is real. And these goons are just continuing to cause problems coming in from the side here. And it's clearing this area up here. Like, the musketeers are literally walking straight into death. Like, this cannot be any more walking into death. Like, look at, look at this. Look at them walk up and then just get annihilated. Look at that. Bam. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, look at the, the vulture fly by there. Look at that. But they're trying to, Lancers are coming forward. The Dragoons are continuing to come in from the back side here. Continuing to put in shifts, man. Everyone is going to work. Culverin's getting some good shots there. Finally making their way up. It's going to take down a lot of these organ guns and heavy cannon. Which they just have. It's looking promising now. A lot of the defense has been taken away. Spain putting the pressure on. Come on, Spain. These walls looking hefty. Muskies here slowly taking them down. We have more flamethrowers coming in on the flank. Getting just, they're just literally getting bounced off by unction culverins. They're not even getting affected by it. It's amazing. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. Alright, so everything's kind of getting wrecked. 
Just straight up, everything's kind of getting wrecked. Musketeers are coming in, though. Here we go. The pressure is on. Trying to advance. They're trying so hard to advance. Trying desperately. There they go. They're on the way back. Musketeers are continuing to fly in here. We need lancers. They need they need to get everything going here. Going straight back to kill these vills. The Chinese economy was looking... Oh my goodness, they are on bare bones. The Chinese economy is literally on no food. This is huge. Ports has a lot of, a lot of it though. So ports could definitely just give them resources. Training up vills now. Boy, that is some big blows. Some big hits here. And they're continuing to put it on. Skirms going into work. You gotta give it to both teams. Like, you really do. You gotta give it to both teams. The consistency of pressure from strategy demons and the consistency of resistance from Fire Mountain. Trying desperately to take him down. Dude, what, a, what the flaming, the flying crows, man, you gotta give it to him too. It's just been so much so much work for them in this game. They've probably been sent literally at least 50 times, I feel like, you know. Barbaric Corsair is going back there and putting in a shift. We need cab masses, man. They need to get some cab masses in here. They can't mass up enough though right now, unfortunately. Continuing to advance. Corsairs are chilling back here. So many Casadors. Musketeers marching straight into them. Trying to get into melee. Tons of Lancers are advancing. They do not know how sl how low the Chinese economy is right now. He is on last legs. Continuing to produce Vils. Regrouping in the back. They're continuing to resist though. And press from the side. Dude, they need, they need something, a heavy cannon, or, I don't know. These Casadors are just literally just having a shooting range fest today. Oh, here come some Lancers. That's what they need. Flying Crow's back here, too, just having a grand time. Check uh, his port teammate here. Continue to send the Barbaric Corsair shipment as often as possible. Like, try and take down the Flying Crow's production. We got up here. Guard Halbs. Getting researched currently. We have lots of heavy cannon back here. Needs to get those deployed as soon as possible. Barbaric Corsair is coming in. But man, these Castors are putting in a shift. Lancers are advancing, but they, they don't have the best pathing right now because of all these buildings. Just so much. So much going on, so much action. Alright, Halbs are on the way. Where are they at? They're being trained somewhere. I don't know where they're being trained at, but they're being trained somewhere. Imperial Cossacks coming in. 
Mob Imperial Cossacks. Oh, no, no, this is a uh, Dutch. Or, I mean, uh, sorry, why do I keep saying Dutch? Ports. Ports Halbs. Sorry, I thought we were in China right there. Trying to get the melee in with these bad boys. It is looking overwhelming, though, right now. The resistance continues. Immense resistance. They're not going to go down without a fight. I gotta tell you, though, I'm extremely impressed with how they've been able to continue to pursue. Uh, or continue to... Oh, here you go. Resources have been sent. And that is what is needed here. That's what they need. China needs to be able to get these units out. Uh, I've been amazed at how they've been continuing to resist, you know? Like, consistently, again and again and again. It seems like strategy demons are about to go in, and then somehow this... They just hold them off. Um, and especially so with uh, the low production of the economy that China has. Like, it hasn't been that big of an issue. I mean, uh, yeah, they've been pushed back, but it's taken such a long time. I'm really amazed by that. That just shows you, I mean, these flying crows have just been critical. Everything is going down now. We have Oprinchniks entering the base. Everything is under mass slaughter. trying to get armies out. They're desperately trying to get armies out. And mortars are here. We have Imperial Howitzers. And you get those bad boys parked up here central. We do have a field hospital. I absolutely love it. We've seen everything today. Everything has been seen today. Spies, field hospitals. Oprahs are taking all those buildings down. It's getting, it's getting nasty. This one's about to go down too. And so are the the villages. It's looking grim for the Chinese and the ports. Fire Mountain. The efforts are being there though. I mean, he's can try and a one last attempt to at trying to get a barracks out over here. And uh, that is down as well. He's got a ton of heavy cannon, though, so he could get some of those out over here. But they're just slowly paving the way here. And you get that down so you can build a fort in the center here. This is a town center he needs to take down, that first town center. So much madness today. So much action. This is the first match of the 2020 team free-for-all final. I'm really excited to see what the final holds up. I'm really excited when we get a good set of, you know, four teams that have been through a game already and kind of know what to expect. I'm really interested to see how it plays out. Because this one, this is the first match that these people are playing, you know, with the free-for-all. Um, so you never know what to, uh, what to expect too much. Opry are just putting in shifts there. Continuing to advance forward. So many Musketeers. And they're in the back. Villagers are on the run. Resistance continues. They are not going to give in easily. China's armies are advancing. As well as these two in the back here. Ports are trying to get those dragoons out. I think they'll be able to get enough out there. Barbary Corsairs are coming out too. Putting good pokes against those Imperial Oprinchniks. Musketeers continue to get sent in here. He needs to take this town center down so he can uh, make that fort. And then once he makes that fort, man, there's going to be more and more musketeers coming to this base. The Barbary Corps air shipment's been looking really good for Portugal. I think it's been a great option. Um, got some up here, so we'll see what he decides to do here. But the Barbary Corps have been solid. Especially against those Opry raids. So many musks. So what is the game plan now? They're trying to regroup. I'm interested to see what they do with this. 
really interested to see it. Flamethrowers are going to melt those musks. Dude, the flamethrowers are so good. They're underrated. Extremely underrated. Dude, this one explorer has been trying to take this thing down all game. He just did! Look at we caught it! He's been working on it all game and he finally took it down. And immediately goes and starts to see the other one and then this explorer is going to come over to That's pretty funny. That is pretty funny. Alright, Spain continuing to advance. What's going to go on over here? Mortars. Villager is advancing. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. <laughs> Alright, so the annihilation of the base continues. Um, this town center needs to go down, like I said, so I can make that fort. All these things are gonna take it out, so the blue base is gone. Blue's base is non-existent anymore. It has seen its last legs. I don't know if he's actually noticed this. I don't think Yellow's noticed this yet. This yet. Blockade has been sent in. Nasty. Absolutely nasty. Blockade has been sent in, guys. Code red action right there. That is code red. Trying to get more of those up. And here we go. We have Casadors meeting musks. More must coming in here. I'm trying to base trade, but I think it's going to be too late. I don't think it's going to be doable here. Plowing away. Miniman are coming out. The port Miniman spawns. Yep, here they come. Let's check in on them here. Get those port Miniman out. They're all coming. It's such a funny... It's so funny, isn't it? There's literally so many Miniman you can get. Look at them all, man. They're all over the place. It's amazing. Meanwhile, musks are starting to defend now. Just not enough oomph in the back down there. Not enough for them to take care of it. New forward locations coming. The huge Miniman resistance is actually working out pretty well. Holding the line here. His teammates trying to rebuild. They're desperate. They are desperate. Minimen plugging away one at a time. The best that they can. But this combination has proven extremely successful here. For these two teams. For these two guys on this team. Alright, Musk's going in the work. And you gotta give them, you gotta give them credit for resistance that is just continuing to happen here. Apprentices are coming in, cleaning up the porcelain tower. Don't know how that's lasted so long. Up all the buildings that you take down, that's probably one of them. But it is now down, and the resistance continues, man. They are not gonna give up easy at all. Avistan finally oh whoa whoa sorry finally plays spies so we want right here welcome to the party man you're like an hour late now i'm just joking <laughs> he has been plugging away with musks and opry 50 opries all game ports continuing though down here not giving up man they are not giving up 
New base is established, a new forward base is established. So I think I go in the back side there. He sees everything that's going on now, so there's a really good chance at uh, closing this game out. Musks, Rods, Dragoons, Skirm against Dragoons and Archibuzier. Chang Dao just get annihilated immediately, so these poor guys don't have a chance. Ooh, he's kind of getting close here, actually. He needs to get that up. But uh, it seems to be a little distracted. It's hard to get fight the two fronts at the same time. 39 shipments for Russia, man. You might want to find an infinite card that you like. I guess he doesn't like this one. I don't mind it. It doesn't hurt. Opry are going into work now back here. Just taking down all the buildings. They're like Grens, but not as good. JK's in the chat. Lancer's coming in to clean it up. Man, so much building destruction to do here. Trying to regroup back here. I don't, I don't think they're going to have a chance, though. More flamethrowers. Redcoats arrive! You gotta give it, though, to... Uh, both teams though, like I was saying, man, really good resistance from uh, Fire Mountain and really good consistency from Strategy Demons. Came out early, super early with the pressure. Intense pressure early, feels like hours ago, which it literally was. But when we were down here, uh, and then, yeah, Frozen by Chosen just could not, could not figure it out. Too much pressure early. And it proved out to be successful for them. They were able to focus their attack on the next highest player at the right time. And then now they're winning this one-on-one -on -one, um, team battle. 2v2, I guess, but team-on-team -team battle here. Very well. They're doing a great job. I see Streelets spawn in. Is that down here? Streelets finally getting showcased. That's been the whole game. We have well, I guess we did see him, but then they turned immediately into musketeers. Here come more dragoons, more musketeers. As the resistance continues, trying to get towers out back here. How's the uh, Chinese ego coming? Are you making it, bro? You're making it, man. You're getting bills out. He's at 52. That's not too bad. You gotta give it to him. He's got two town centers out, looks like. Oh my goodness. I don't know what happened there. Oh, he probably deleted them. I was gonna say, did uh, just a million organ gun shots come that direction or something, or what? Hussar, trying to get in there. Trying to knock him out. I think it will not be enough, though. You gotta love just the, like, the battle scenes in this are just huge, you know? I feel like there's so much more spread than even just a regular 2v2. Probably because we're later in the game, right? But, I mean, it has just been all over the place this whole time. The really nice thing about Unction is that, you know, he only needs two mortars. And they're gonna do great work. It was very nice that he has that. Our Musk are pressing there once again. Mortars are pressing forward, and they're just slowly advancing through the whole base. Probably needs to take down some of these houses over here. Um, but yeah, China's... I mean, that's probably half China's eco right there. Trying to continue to resist. Most tears are going toe-to-toe -to -toe with them down there. A few Opry coming in. I can build our forward fort. Oh, 
and more Casadors are resisting. So the resistance is just, it's on, man. They're gonna go, I feel like, to the last resources. Sorry, wrong dude. I don't know why I keep clicking the wrong guys. He's getting there, man. Going through the resources pretty quick. Lots of uh, Cossacks now coming in. But still has 2k resource, or 20k resources left. Uh, but I don't know how much longer it's going to last. He's going to need to give his teammates some resources as his eco here is about to get wrecked by this wrecking ball mass. Surprise, this forward base here has not been taken down. That's been a lot of Red's production coming from there the whole time. I'm surprised it hasn't been dealt with. Cossack's put in a good shift here. He's actually getting some uh, Genites in the back and Halbs coming out as well. So continuing to resist in all areas. Dragoons putting it in. New forward fort is coming in place as well. Yeah, those Cossacks are... They're just gonna go at the Goons, man. I mean, sometimes if you do have enough melee cav and the range cav can't run, you can take them down. So, it does happen sometimes. You see it every once in a while. Trading post being grabbed. Could have done Trade Monopoly a long time ago, but it's not on the cards right now. Instead, it is just continue to resist and continue to press. We have four mortars now. It is about to go down quick. These walls, three mortars, excuse me. Ford is almost up. This is still alive. More musks on the way. That fort is up. Here they come. Mortars advancing. Walls here also are just going to go down within seconds. Mountain Castle is not going to be able to go up. Fire Mountain, I'm sorry. Going for the rice patty. Brutal. Alright, so it looks like it's going to be the strategy demons who advance on from this game. Uh, really well played. I think they played their cards nicely, had some pretty good breaks as well. Um, but you know, took advantage of the situations that they were in. It's going to be interesting to see if they, once they reach the final, uh, if they do get attacked early because people know that you know they do like to attack early. Uh, that they do like to use a Princhnik masses. And, yeah, that'd be interesting to see kind of who they come up against in that way. But it's been really good battles. Uh, mostly these two player, these two teams going at it this, this whole time. And, uh, on the air side, though, I mean, well played from uh, Fire Mountain. You know, they held the resistance here at the beginning against purple and yellow, which was looking devastating, the lazy longbows there. Looking like they were going to take advantage of them, but uh, they resisted and it able it was able to work out for them. Um, and they just did not have enough juice to take care of uh, the strategy demons. It just wasn't enough, um, unfortunately. And that is, that is, yep. <laughs> oh, I love the effort. But uh, it just wasn't enough. But they had some great attempts here. Still continue to push on. You know, excellent resistance. The I think we saw the advantage of having like an infinite two flaming era or flaming uh, excuse me, flying crow card. See how good that kind of card is. And um, yeah, man, some just really good use of really good use of what they had. Um, but well, yeah, really well played, and uh, we'll see the uh, strategy demons in the final uh, as it just closes out here. It doesn't look like Blue could have gotten going again. He tried to get his eco going. Where is he at right now? He tried to get it going, just couldn't have enough. Vill's out. Um, I wonder if he had more economy, if that would have helped him. But I mean, he really was... I don't know. It was kind of a really interesting situation there. I wonder if he was intentionally doing the, um, like, 80 villager eco, or what. Because it's kind of funny, because on the other side here, China had 120. You know, there's different type, there's different ways to play it, so. 
But about to go in here. This looks like the last wall segment. Oh, almost one more. Pink's, Pink's wall segment here. <laughs> the enemy's wall segment is, is their protection at this point. Really well played by everybody. Hope you enjoyed this game, guys. Hope you're going to enjoy this tournament. Um, just a new new little format, trying something new. We all love free-for-all. It's so much fun. Uh, we'll make sure we get some co-commentating next time uh, to pair up with this action. But uh, I had to make sure I got one of the games out to you guys as soon as possible. And so that's what we're doing. Here comes the instant Casador Musk. Or instant Musketeer Resistance. I'm fried at this point. Going in for those Casadors. And this is it. The last of the walls are about to go down. Both sides here. And the final battles are commencing. Rods are in, musks are in. Mortars are in. Everything is in. So that is it. That is going to be game one of the 2020 team free-for-all finals. Like I said at the beginning, there are four matches, four group game matches. The winner of each of those matches will advance to the final, and then we'll have a four-team final. Um... So I'm really excited to see kind of what happens, what what kind of gameplay we get from each of these teams and civs. And, you know, we saw a little bit of rushing today. Will we see more rushing next time? Will we just see all people booming? What focus will we see? I'm not too sure. So I'm looking forward to all that, of course. Um, the possibilities of free-for-all are endless. Just how much boldness do people have in it? I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to find out. Dude, that is just brutal. The Musketeers, I, I want to see the Musketeer count. It has got to be up to like at least 10,000. Insane amounts. Insane amounts of Musketeers. But hey, it works out, man. You have to have enough of them. Quantity over, or quantity over quantity. Wait. Quantity over quality. Dude, I'm losing it. I'm losing, man. It's literally nuts. Here come the Orban guns, too. But it looks like all the villagers have been cleaned up. Got the last few right there. Let's watch the end of this. Oh, it finally sends in a native shipment. takes another hour for him to send it again. He has, how many shipments does he have now? Does he have 50 yet? 45. He's almost there. They're plugging away. Those two bills there, the last two, really. Check it out here. What he's got. Yep, those two are the last. He's got one chilling out there. Well played by both teams. Really enjoyed this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Um, let me know your thoughts on this kind of format. Let me know your thoughts on, you know, all the gameplay and everything. Hope you guys just had a lot of fun with uh, watching this one. I know there's a lot of people that watched the previous ones, and some of those are like three plus hours. So, hope you guys are enjoying, enjoying this one just as much. Looks like the Opry are going to take down the uh, rest of these buildings here. About to clean all that up. It's going to come into the base here. But all that's taken down. And then 
That is it. As soon as he's about to get in, he resigns. So red is out. Blue. Does the blue have anything left? Are these last blue, blue's buildings? I don't know. He's got no units and he has resigned. And that is it. That is game one. So let's check the post game here. Insane action everywhere. 5,000 musketeers. I thought it was going to be more. I honestly thought it was going to be more. Tons of dragoons and RKB Sierra as well. And look at that unit count just back and forth. Yeah, you can see here it was just never high enough for red and blue. You know, I felt like I hope they could get more. Huge with Dutch here, and then just went down quick. Um, but that was nuts, guys. Really fun game. Um, congrats to Strategy Demons as they move on. And hopefully I'll see you guys in the next uh, game of the 2020 Team Free-For-All Tourney. Thanks for watching.